Today, we're talking about soap in modern warfare, but not the traditional way in his content pack and the things coming along with him, like we've talked about a couple of times on the channel here before, not to beat a dead horse, but instead, today, kind of a warning. I say that because he's been actually showing up for some players within modern warfare, and you may have seen somebody in your games with soap equipped as their operator. But the problem is, is it's not exactly what you may be thinking and any indication to get your hopes up just yet. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Firstly, have you seen anybody in your Modern Warfare matches with Soap equipped as their operator? And two, when do you think we'll see Soap introduced into the game? Sooner, later, or maybe never? Whatever it is, let me know your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's try and aim for a thousand likes here on this video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so I'm a single thing getting all things Modern Warfare, Warzone, and anything COD related. We'll keep you the day with all of it. And finally, my friends over at Gamer Advantage are running a killer holiday sale here with up to 30% off with code ESPRESSO on their Elite Bundles, but more on them in a little bit. That said, let's talk about soap. So if you're waiting for soap to come to Modern Warfare, you're not alone. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, man, you've kind of been out of the loop a little bit, especially given the topic and how much has come up in the last week or so here. But soap, the CX-9, the RAL LMG, that's the last of Modern Warfare's unreleased content that's yet to come into the game. So naturally, everyone is looking for any reason to have that hope that maybe he's coming soon. But recently, there's been a bit of some dupes going around. The one that caught my eye was a situation where Reddit user Husky Ash posted an image with the caption, weird things going on lately, soap and Cold War camo in Modern Warfare. Now, to the immediate eye, this would seem to suggest that Modern Warfare is finally getting soap in the game, right? I mean, he's right there. You can see him with your own two eyes, but this isn't quite the case, as much as I'd love for it to be. This and some other isolated cases I've seen around different social medias, whether that be Twitter, YouTube, you name it, seem to be the product of not in-game glitches where content is inadvertently showcased early, because we have seen that happen quite a few times, where content goes live a little earlier than it's supposed to via in-game bug, but this more so looks to be the product, unfortunately, of some moddings. His teammate doesn't seem to actually have soap, probably though via an unlock all tool that can be used in certain games. If I were to guess, this is the product of either a PC player that is the one playing as soap, or someone who had gotten the unlock all tool applied to their account through a PC modder. To my knowledge, traditional content Console players don't have access to this sort of stuff. It's much better protected with less tools that are even compatible with the console as opposed to PC. But why is this such a dead giveaway? Well, soap actually could be something that maybe would pass, where it seems like it could actually happen. Maybe it was just a visual bug. We've seen that happen a couple of times already throughout Modern Warfare and Warzone and everything like that. So I'd be more so inclined to say, okay, that's possible. But the thing that is a dead giveaway here is that of his other teammates. His other teammates end up having DM Ultra on Modern Warfare weaponry, and normally that wouldn't make any sense at all given that Modern Warfare and Cold War are two entirely different applications, but given Warzone's game files are in a shared pool with Modern Warfare, those integrated camos that were pulled over from Black Ops Cold War and such can be altered in Warzone and then applied then to Modern Warfare, and that's exactly how they've done that. This is actually something that I've seen pop up more and more in recent times. I actually got killed by a hacker that ended up having a DM Ultra Ram 7 a couple of days ago, but asking around about that if I was crazy or if I missed the blueprint or something like that, turns out that's actually something that's running rampant as of recently is a bunch of different mods that can end up pulling Cold War camos over into Modern Warfare. But again, that's only done via modding. So when you have two of those three characters in frame with DM Ultra on their weaponry and the other one with an unreleased operator skin, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this is modded in and it's not actually indicative of it coming just yet. Funny thing is, though, is we've actually seen this happen with Soap before. If you guys remember a few months back, we actually saw this happen within Warzone, where players were seeing Soap pop up in their games. This, though, being a product of both those modders who had the unlock all tools, but also for those that were able to access his specific bundle on the back end online in the Call of Duty databases. Hilariously, after that Soap incident was seen here, and a lot of people started reporting seeing him, a large ban wave went out shortly thereafter, in which, get this, that was actually the biggest red flag for the automated system. Not the people that were running aimbot, wall hacks, or anything like that, but instead, it was a skin that was unreleased and that players were sporting around for dance. Naturally, that does make a lot of sense given that it's a huge red flag, something that isn't released. How do you have it if you're not cheating or modding it in? But it's just funny to me that that was the thing that kind of led to most bans during that wave. So unfortunately for the time being, if you spotted soap in-game, 
it's likely a deferral to a mod that's going around right now in recent times. So while you may see him, I wouldn't get my hopes up just yet here over his introduction. But that brings me to the topic of when exactly could we see it? And I know we've discussed this here on the channel, so I don't want to crush the topic too much. But one thing that we haven't really discussed is a relatively newer theory, which will either be proven or disproven within the next two weeks or so. But before we jump into that theory, I do want to take a second to let you guys know about my friends over at Gamer Advantage, who are running a killer sale for the holiday weekend here. Now, if you're not familiar, again, I rave about these guys all the time. I truly believe in their product and truly feel that I've seen a difference with it. They're a blue light glasses company that I swear is the best on the market. As somebody who's on their phone or a computer for like eight hours a day at minimum, most days, doing that for years, you'll really start to feel the eye fatigue, the negative effects that that will have on your daily vision and sleep schedules, among other things. So I've been inclined to try blue light glasses out in the past. But here's the thing, almost every brand that you'll find on Amazon or wherever you do your convenience shopping, those glasses will always have a yellow hue or tint in the lenses to effectively just cancel out the blue light, which sure works to a degree, but it looks absolutely ugly to look through. What I love about Gamer Advantage is that they don't do that at all in what's described as their true color tech, which means that what you see before you put on the glasses is exactly what you see afterwards. There is no yellow hue or tint or anything like that. Their frames are durable, comfortable, and prescription compatible with them, even working with most insurance companies to help alleviate some of that extra cost that a prescription would entail. Right now, they have an effective 30% off discount on all of their elite bundles of glasses, which gives you actually more than the standard frames. It's like a bundle package, but during this sale is actually cheaper than their base regular frames of just the glasses. With 20% off naturally and a stackable 10% with code ESPRESSO, check these out if you want to get up to 30% off. If you're interested in helping your vision health and want to learn more or pick something up, check the link in the description below. That said, let's talk about this theory about when soap could be coming. So this theory postulates that we'll see another random content drop here shortly based on the intervals that we had seen with the last time we saw random drops. Now, I don't want to say that I believe in this exclusively or 100%, but logically, it's not a bad theory if you're looking for some hope for when soap could be coming. The new theory considers the drops that we ended up seeing the last time around here in Modern Warfare, that first time we saw the new maps of Kill House, Drainage, and Al Rob Air Base, plus also the Psykov and Sparks as an operator. Given that we saw the maps of Killhouse, Drainage, and Al Rob Air Base before two of those were removed, those were released on March 31st of this year, the Season 2 Reloaded or Mid-Season Update. Then, just over two weeks later, the 15th of April, the Psykov Pistol and Sparks were introduced during the last update of Season 2. So, the theory then predicts a little bit of a similar thing happening here, that during Week 2 here, we ended up seeing the reintroduction of Drainage and Al Rob Air Base, and potentially, like in two weeks after this, Perhaps with that Season 4 Reloaded update, we end up seeing at least something. Like I said, it's kind of out there. I don't know if I believe this entirely just yet, but it's a decent thought logically. And what I like is that we'll know if this is busted or if it's going to be something that holds up in just about two weeks' time. That's definitely nice to have a definitive answer and some closure on that theory sooner rather than later, as opposed to the other theories out there that one, it's a bit of cancelled content, two, that it was Season 7 DLC before a release date for Cold War is finalized, or three, that it was a pre-order bonus for an upcoming title of either Vanguard, MW2, or Modern Warfare 3 Campaign Remastered. But for now, what you're seeing within SOAP in Modern Warfare is likely via modding, so don't get your hopes up just yet, but maybe in the future we see it. That said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Just wanted to fill you guys in here with this and let you know what you may have missed in Modern Warfare and maybe explain what you could have seen here within Modern Warfare the last couple of days. That said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so I don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare, Warzone, and anything COD related. We'll keep you there today with all of it. So if you guys are interested in any of that, hit the subscribe button. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, there's the best places to get comments outside of YouTube. Practically on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. See you guys later. Take care and peace.